Soybean pre-emerge herbicides have never been more important because now we have Roundup resistant weeds, we have HPPD resistant weeds, we've got ALS resistant weeds. So a lot of the post options, Darren, uh, they're out. They're just not working. Though. I don't know if I could say that they've never been more important though because you know what, before we had a lot of those herbicide choices, we had to do a great job with our pre's. That was our only hope. We had Sencor and we had Treflon. <laughs> well, we didn't if they really... didn't work, <laughs> yeah. we had to walk the beans. <laughs> okay, I guess you got me there. But I will say this, at least we have a lot more options today when it comes to pre-emerge herbicides. But we do want you to consider some of the old products, some of the things you maybe haven't even thought about in years, like the DNA products, the yellows, let's start there. Well, when you talk about Treflan, Sonlan, and Prowl, they are pretty reliable products. Now, I realize your dad or your grandpa may say, oh, I had that one product fail that one time. You know what, if you use the right rate, you get them out there, you get a little bit of moisture on them, you're gonna have a great, great response from Treflan, Sonlan, or Prowl. Now with Treflan and Sonlan, they must be instantly incorporated. And when we see a failure with those products, which I have virtually never seen, it's always with the guy that sprayed them on and then came back later to work them in. And when you have products like that that have high vapor pressure, you just can't do that. Because if you have a hot, sunny day, maybe a little breeze, you're gonna lose a lot of that product and waste your money and waste your time. So when you're doing that, we like to put an incorporation kit right on a disc or a field cultivator or whatever tillage tool you're gonna use. So we're spraying it on and literally working it in as we're spraying it on. That way you're maximizing the effectiveness of those products. With Prowl, that can be used in no-till. So you could spray that on and just leave it on the surface of the soil and it's going to be just fine. The nice thing about these yellows, the DNA products, they have activity on grass and they have pretty good activity on broadleaves. Even some of the toughest broadleaves that are out there, palmer pigweed, water hemp, even a little bit on ragweed, we have some activity on a lot of those weeds. But I also want you to keep in mind there is a difference. The reason why Sonalan is the most expensive is it's the best and it doesn't have the carryover issue that Treflan does. So Sonalan and Prowl are not going to carry over as much as Treflan will but we do encourage you to use at least one of these three products on most of your soybean acres if you can, because it's a good way to get a cheap grass and broadleaf killer out there, and it's a completely different mode of action than the rest of the products we'll discuss. All right, well, I like two newer products to the market, Valor and Authority. Those products are fantastic, they're broad spectrum, and now they're being packaged with other herbicides in combination with them. So in many cases, like let's take Authority, for example, you can buy it with Sencor mixed in, that's Authority MTZ. You can buy it with Pursuit mixed in, that's Authority Assist. You can buy it with First Rate mixed in, that's Authority First. Well, if you pick one of those products, like I like Authority MTZ, so you use Authority MTZ in combination with Prowl, now you have three modes of action, all with activity on your Palmer pigweed or water hemp species. Wow, that's a great way to start your program out, and you really haven't broken the bank to do it. Okay, let's talk about the Valor and Authority just a little bit more. The reason why we like those products is they don't have quite as much soil pH activity as like the old Sencor did. So Sencor, if you get soil pH above 7.4, that product can get really hot. It could get harmful to your soybean crop or any crop that you're gonna raise if the pH is excessive and the rate is, you know, pretty high. So with Valor and Authority, we can kind of solve that problem. You don't have to worry so much about pH. They're going to control similar weed species to what Sencor does. I like both Valor and Authority because they have pretty decent residual, more than what Sencor does too. Authority is by far going to have the longest residual though, so if you're just strictly looking at residual, Authority would be number one and Valor would be number two, but both are going to be real good on a lot of the small seeded broadleaves. When you talk about small seeded broadleaves, but with Sencor it does have some activity on those large seeded broadleaves leaves as well. Like now, sunflowers. Yeah, back before we had a lot of herbicide choices, we'd use Sencor on our farm and we were hoping to get sunflower control, maybe a little help on velvet leaf, a little bit of activity yep. on cockleburr, but cockleburr is a little bit tougher broadleaf to get. Okay, so we've mentioned quite a few products already, but we haven't gotten to a couple of the real popular ones, like Pursuit, for example, especially at a low rate. We don't encourage you to use a high rate of Pursuit hardly ever because we're worried about carryover, but a low rate is pretty good, still has a lot of activity on a number of different weeds, rag weed, buckwheat, there are a whole bunch of even lambs quarters I can think of that Pursuit's going to help you on in addition to grass. Again, keep the rate low and be thinking about soil pH here too. Low pH is what we're most worried about. If you had a pH less than 5.5, that's where I'd be most concerned about carryover. It's not high pH with Pursuit. I also think about two products that could be used 
pre, but I want to save them for post. And that would be first rate and flex star. And so there are combinations like Darren mentioned authority first. I really don't like using that. I'd rather save that first rate for post emerge. I think that's a better way to go. You've got other options you could use pre emerge for those same weeds. Same thing when we start talking about flex star. I've got other options for the weeds flex star will control pre emerge. I just don't have a lot of options post. So save that flex star for post. Okay, Brian, we've covered a lot of ground here, but here's the most important questions. How are you going to get these products on? And when are you going to get these products on? Well, it depends on what we're going to use. So if I am going to take a Treflan or Sonalan, then I have to incorporate. Well, okay, that's fine. If you've got incorporation, you can go right up to that planting date. That's no problem. What I'm concerned about is those ones that you lay on top of the soil. Yep. This is where we see a lot of questions from guys. I don't know. I haven't had great success with the pre's. And I said, well, when did you put them on? Well, I planted and then a week later I put on my pre and you know, it well, didn't rain for a couple weeks and all of a sudden all the weeds came Yeah, up. but here's the other problem. A lot of guys will say, oh, I'm going to wait until after I plant. That's great, but you might only have three days. Are you really going to get that done? Most of them, you can't use it post. Once the crop gets up, you'll kill it. So the stuff like Sencor, Authority, Valor, Trefland, Sonalan, Prowl, none of those, they're fantastic pre's, but you cannot use them early post emerge. Well, there's certainly a lot of things to think about with soybean weed control, but we really think those pre-emerge herbicides are absolutely critical to your success and especially if you've got roundup resistant weeds in your area you need to be using multiple pre-emerge herbicides to try and wipe out as many of the broadleaf weeds especially before you have to try and control well that crop. is important when you're trying to control weeds but will any of those things control our weed of the week we'll tell you coming up next